Okay, so how we make homeschool work in our family, especially since we have six kids that range in age of 15, which would be a sophomore in high school, all the way down to two-year-olds, which is probably the most challenging. <laughs> um, and do life and do everything else of being a mom and doing meals and working out. Um, so mainly, I think the biggest tip is you do not have to homeschool seven hours a day like they do in public school. Um, since you have a much smaller class size, we can get homeschool done in two or three hours, um, mainly the book work, I should say, and then we are able to adventure and um, do museums and do exciting stuff for the rest of the day. So um, mainly when I wake up in the morning, I try and get up before my kids when we do um, homeschool days, and I try and get my working out done, and I try and get everything that I need done so that when the kids wake up and start school, um, they can have my attention. And then I really try hard for those two to three hours to give my kids um, the undivided attention that homeschooling five kids um, takes, especially with the two-year-old who needs to be entertained in the middle of everything all the time. Um, now, don't get me wrong, during those two and three hours, I can clean some dishes, I can put some laundry in, I can vacuum, um, but mainly I try and make those two or three hours really focused on homeschool and my children. And then what we do while they're homeschooling is I make sure that I am kind of just rotating around. Now the nice thing about us traveling is my husband is also able to help and um, give kids help when they need it. So if someone needs help in their math book with long division, then he can sit down with that one. And then when I have another child who's on the keyboard, I can go help them with that. So we kind of just rotate, do different stations, and then when we're all doing something together, we can all come together. But it's very flexible, and um, it's worked really well with our lifestyle, and we're able to kind of do it all before we actually wrap up the homeschool and head off to an adventure for the rest of the day. Okay, this is the back toy hauler of our trailer. The beds are up right now. So this is mainly where we do a lot of our schoolwork. I keep all of their schoolwork in these Ikea boxes right here. And it's nice because each kid can have their own box um, with their own books and all of the things that they do. And um, it's kind of like their little backpack or desk or locker. So that's where they um, keep all of their books and things that they do. Um, they can also sit here in a stool and we keep this nice and clear so they can sit here and do their schoolwork. We keep our piano books down there so that right over here on the keyboard, they can sit and practice the piano. Um, so whether they're doing piano or doing schoolwork on this side, it's nice because I can come back here and help um, multiple kids. I also keep all of our markers, pens, stickers, tape, scissors, crafts, whatever in one place so that we can keep it nice and organized and if the kids ever need anything, um, they know where to find it. Now if the kids aren't back here in the back, then they would be either on the couch, usually with a Chromebook, and they would be sitting here, or we're sitting with them on the couch. Here, it's very informal when you're in a trailer. Um, and then sometimes when we all meet together, we have some kids on the couch, and some kids here on the floor, um, wherever they're comfortable. And if they're not here on the couch, the last place that they like to do their schoolwork, and actually one of the biggest places they like to do their schoolwork, is on my bed. <laughs> so as you can see, there's even a, a computer sitting here because that's usually their favorite place where they like to do schoolwork is on mom and dad's bed. And um, it's comfortable for them. So I say wherever you wanna do it is great. Just make yourself comfortable and get to work. Okay, so one of the main things that we've done as we've traveled around the country is we have done um, Junior Ranger. So whenever you go to a national park, or a National Historical Site or a National Monument, they have a Junior Ranger program and it's a whole book that the kids get to fill out and earn a badge and we have seen all the national parks in the 48 states and I really feel like this has been a great resource for us and the kids have learned a lot about our country and along with that my kids um, write in their journals and these are 
cool leather journals that we got them and they write about the national park and they take a picture on a Polaroid and we tape it in. And so they'll be able to keep this. They write facts about it. We pull out our national park informational books and um, they copy all good things and write lots of information um, about those national parks. So studying the national parks of our country um, has been a big part of our curriculum these past two years. Um, another thing that we have done is we've done handwriting without tears. And I've used this all the way from my kindergartner all the way up to my uh, sixth grader. And I really feel like it's helped them um, be able to focus on their handwriting and their neat handwriting and they also have cursive as well. So that has been um, good for my kids. Um, now this is also um, another book that Handwriting Without Tears or Learning Without Tears also cover. And this is for the younger age and it really makes it nice and simple. This is Cassidy, my, my kindergartner's book and to be able to work on handwriting. Um, we also do piano with all five of our kids and we brought a keyboard with us and I teach them and these books have been really great for us. Um, the first Piano Adventures books all the way up to my 15 year old um, uses these books for piano. Um, Spelling You See we have used um, again mainly from my second grader up to my uh, sixth grader and this is a great way to teach your kids how to spell because it works on um, actually informational text that it's not just individual words they learn how to write um, and learn whole paragraphs, which help them with writing sentences, capital letters, um, and spelling words. So that's been great for us too. Um, for my kindergarten preschooler, um, these reading books have been great for us. This one is um, the reading lesson, teach your child to read in 20 easy lessons. And it's very, it moves really slowly and it's great practice for her as well as these reading for all learners um, books have been fun. So we've enjoyed those. And for math, we do two things. We do teaching textbooks online on the computer, which has been really nice because I can send the kids off to do that on their own while I can sit down with other kids and help them with other book work or their piano. Um, so teaching textbooks on the Chromebook has been awesome, but I also want them to do math writing with pages and being able to know how to write the problems out. And so these books, these mathematical reasoning books, we bought on Amazon and I've used them all the way up uh, to sixth grade. And they're nice and big and colorful and um, it jumps around. So that way it revisits um, concepts that have been taught previously so that the kids um, don't do one math problem and then never come back to it. Um, so it's spiral um, that way and these have been really good for my kids and yeah they enjoy math in the book and on the computer so those are some of the things that we've done obviously it's not all that we have done but I feel like as a homeschool mom if they get a little bit of stuff on the computer a little bit of stuff writing actually in pages um, they do a lot of reading and they get their math done then I feel successful um, in a day of homeschool so you can't do it all but you can do a little bit each day. Okay, also I forgot, we do um, Beautiful Feet history lessons. And we do that all together as a family, which has been awesome. Um, it's nice to be able to study history, especially as we're traveling around the country. And um, these are some of the things that we've done um, together. And my kids have really loved filling out these maps. And yeah, Beautiful Feet does a great job with their, with their lessons and it's been nice to be able to, um, and they also write in their writing journals, um, the history information that we learn all together. Okay, when we homeschool um, for our family, we are definitely morning homeschools, schoolers. I should say, um, if it doesn't get done in the morning, it probably just doesn't happen because <laughs> then other stuff come up and crazy life um, happens and so um, and we actually homeschool year-round because a lot of days we are doing something else and we don't homeschool um, meaning we are traveling or we're moving or we're you know meeting with friends 
Um, and so as we, um, if we have a pretty quiet day, we get our homeschool done in the morning and then we will go out and do something in the afternoon. Um, if we have something that takes all day, for example, if we're going um, to a national park and that's gonna be an all day thing, then we don't homeschool. I consider that homeschooling when we are out at a museum, when we're out in a national park, that is our education for the day. Um, but we also homeschool through the summer because I figure we've missed enough days throughout the year that we um, can homeschool also through the summer. And plus our homeschool days are very short and simple. Um, they are not long hours. Um, and so we just do a little bit each day on the days that we are not don't have anything else planned. And um, it's just a little pieces, little bites throughout the whole year that works for us, especially during the morning that has worked really well for my kids. They're definitely better focusers and learners um, in the morning. So that's worked for us. Okay, the reason that we started homeschooling two years ago was mainly because of the pandemic. I didn't wanna send my kids um, to a circus wearing masks, and I actually have a background in teaching school, so I was not concerned about bringing my kids home. And um, we brought them home, and we started homeschooling two years ago, and it's been going great, and we love it. And homeschool's been a great option when the world has been chaos and I love that we've been able to um, bring our kids home. So when they first came home from school, after they had been doing public school, um, there was this weird triangle where the teachers were sending home paperwork. I was trying to do the paperwork with them at home with no background information, and then we were sending the paperwork back to school finished, and the teachers didn't even really care or check it off. So this weird triangle of why am I doing this with the school system um, when I can come home and just homeschool them myself. And so we brought them home and we started homeschooling them and that is when we decided to sell the house and travel the country with them. And homeschooling while we've been traveling the country has been um, a perfect answer to our prayers, a perfect answer to what's going on in the world. And we've just been able to see and do so many things. And um, my kids have loved homeschool and I have loved being with my kids 24 hours a day and being able to be a part of the learning process with them and being the one to be able to teach them how to read and how to do long division and how to see education in everything that we do, not just out of the books. And um, homeschool's awesome.